Point up at the name. One, two, three, point. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, point. <laughs> <laughs> Melody Farms! Hi, welcome back to Perfect Choice Nurseries YouTube channel. My name is Paula and if you're new here, welcome, hello. We are a family-owned garden center located in Southwest Ranches, Florida, in between Miami and Fort Lauderdale. We specialize in aeroids, exotic plants, hoyas, interior plants, exterior plants, all that garden center stuff. <laughs> For today's video, I'm going to be answering a few questions that you guys asked on Instagram and also just a little, it's kind of like an update of what's happening here at the nursery. Update on myself, I have pink hair now, just from the bottom. I kind of want to do my whole head. <laughs> we will see about that. But anyway, I'm here at my sister's apartment. Her cats are going a little crazy. I had to reshoot the whole thing because Gigi over here was going nuts, but it's better now, he's a lot more calm, so I think I could do this. So let's answer some of you guys' questions. I don't know which one I kinda wanna do first, but no one asked about the flower expo, so let me just get that one out of the way. So this past week on Friday and Saturday, my family and I went to International Floriculture Expo in Miami Beach Convention Center. We are huge fans of going to the convention center, so this one was more of a flower show. People are coming from all over the country. Normally there's around 400 exhibitors from all around the world coming to the show, but this year because of COVID, there was only maybe around 80, so understandable but we were all being very safe they checked they checked our temperatures before walking in everyone had their masks on there's a flower competition that was actually really exciting what's happening melody i like it i like i like melody, what's um, happening so um they're now competing to do an arrangement um that has to be kind of like Miami style. They have 20 minutes and they have to use, under one condition, they have to use the new flower that they just named Sarah's Brush. So. I find the Flower Expo very prestigious. Like they give out free wine and stuff. Like, ooh, sipping on wine while we watched a flower competition. It's very cute. What is this? What did you order? ID? All right, next. Okay, hi. <laughs> hi, Gigi. Gigi wants to be part of it now. All right, so I have a question here that says, how did you guys get on TV? <laughs> so SoFlo Health reached out to us. I don't think they like, they didn't find us on Instagram or anything like that. So one of the things that he does is go on Google Maps and just click on random businesses and then we were randomly chosen and it was great. It was like fate meant to be. So what he did was more of, a, oh, thanks, Pantera moved my camera. <laughs> There's another cat here that's sleeping. Let me show you. This is my setup right now. Hi, Gigi. So what he wanted to promote was, mm, my God. So he was just promoting Perfect Choice Nursery. My sister did an amazing job. I feel like she did a lot of practicing with like the mini mic and stuff. So she was a natural. When he actually went to go talk to me, I froze. He's like, oh, so Paula, what's Perfect Choice Nursery all about? I was like, uh-huh. I was like, yep, like I couldn't talk. So here's a few clips of our little TV debut. So right now, there's a specific thing you wanted to make sure that our viewers know. What's that? So the most common question that we have oh. when people come to the nursery is if, if it's indoor or outdoor plant. So I always tell them, please look up, and if you see that it's in a covered area, it means it's supposed to be in a covered patio or someplace where it has bright and direct light. Right, so we need some sun. Yes, some Just, sun. But these plants generally don't need too much. No, you don't want them to have too much sun or else they're gonna burn, especially with this like Miami heat. So you wanna make sure that they're in a covered patio, still getting that light, but definitely has to be filtered. Melody was a natural. She's a, she's, she's just so good. <laughs> so Super Cuttings asks, was it always about aeroids? That's a great question. 
And the short answer is no, it wasn't always about aeroids. The long answer is we were always a exterior landscaping, basic nursery kind of garden center. So when Instagram came around in like 2017 that I started taking care of that, I started posting a lot more house plants and my dad's like, no Paula, show the exterior plants, like show this, but I'm like, this is Instagram. People don't wanna be seeing a juniper cone. Like, I don't know, people don't really wanna see that. People wanna see like the pretty flowers, the house plants, the cute, the cool foliage, the ferns. So I started posting more of that and around that same time the plant community was just growing and especially in Miami there was a Instagram called Miami Plant Gang and I feel like it changed the Miami plant community a lot in a great way. Everything was just being a lot more exposed and people started going to the garden centers more. And as that was happening, I was getting a lot of questions on the DMs asking, hey, do you guys have ficus liratas? Yeah, of course. Do you guys have snake plants? Yeah, of course. But then later on, I started getting more questions that were like, do you guys have the watermelon peperomia? Do you guys have begonia rexes? And it's like, what is that? Like, no, we don't have that. And then we started getting questions about, do you have the Monsetta Albo? Do you have the variegated this, variegated that? And that was a completely different world that we were not, that we had no clue about. So I would ask my dad, hey, Papi, do we have this plant? Do we have a Monsetta Albo? He's like, what? No, what is that? Like, we have no idea. So from there, because of all of the DMs that I would get asking which plants we have, we started searching for those plants. We started looking for them. And then in a way, we grew with the houseplant community. All the plants that were trending, like we were going with it. Like we were, we were riding that wave. So then finding all these new aeroids and tropical plants, my dad just fell in love all over again and he started researching how to get these plants, how to get these aeroids and yeah, it happened and now we're here. But it's something that we none of us were expecting. None of us were expecting us to have greenhouses filled with aeroids. No way, it's just, it's insane. There's a lot more to the story, of course, but that's pretty much like the gist of it. And I definitely want to go more deep into it because it's a lot of fun talking about it, like just, you know, the passion of my dad and just how everything turned out and just like how everything turned out, you know, correctly. All right, I gotta go. I'll be back. Let me go eat. <laughs> Hi. All right, so I'm back from lunch, but I'm just warning you, the camera might be moving a lot because Gigi and Pantera are on the table. So if it happens, that is why. All right, so where were we? Okay, someone asks, any more plant shop tours? Yes, I absolutely love going to different plant shops around the country, just really anywhere in the world. If there's a plant shop, I want to visit it. There's a few that I've been to that I haven't uploaded. There's Reroute in Denver that I want to show. I'm going to be going to Chicago soon, so I'm going to film a plant shop there. I also have past plant tours that are filmed vertically because I filmed them on my phone. So I'm thinking maybe I should bring those back. I have it in Atlanta and New York, so I'll see how how I feel, but I might just show this as well. So the houseplant princess said, when's the next after hours party? I was at the beach all day, so I couldn't stay long. Yes, okay, so the after hours party was so much fun. I noticed I didn't really explain much about it on my past video. I just felt like there wasn't really a time and place for me to say it, but I'll just say it now. So the after hours party was for the Aeroid Society week when everybody came. We had over 300 people sign up to come to the party. We had a live DJ. We had free food and drinks from Wings and Weston. Setting up. So good. I'm really bringing more food. Shout out to Wings and Weston. But everything was just free. Um, we had our shop open till like maybe 5.30. We ended up closing it because my dad's like, I need to relax. I need to stop thinking about selling. I just want to have fun and party with everyone. So we closed our doors and we told everyone to come to the dance floor. At first, it was just kind of like, woo, you know, just chill. But then after, when the drink started flowing, <laughs> more people started dancing and that's when it was just like a crazy fun time. But yeah, that was a free event. We don't know if we're gonna do it again, but the cats are fighting. But we, do, we did have a lot of requests saying that we should have like a single plant parent night. We should have pots and sips and... Hi, that's Pantera. <laughs> we should also maybe have a plant swap, which is something that my dad was like, okay, yeah, I could do that. But if there's any events that you'd like for us to do, 
Oh my god, this is too funny. The other one's coming. Oh god, don't fight. But I'll be... <laughs> But I'll be more on the lookout to see if we should be doing any parties because I do want to do some more parties and events. I think it'd be fun. People are asking about our soil mixes and just different variation of that question. But yes, I am definitely planning on doing a soil video talking about all of our soils and our mixes. And I don't know, um, just give me ideas about more soil questions to ask so I could answer them in the video. All right, and the last question I'm going to be answering is people are asking if we are going to be shipping again. That's kind of a hard question to answer because at the moment we really aren't thinking about coming back to shipping. We're really focusing on growing more plants and selling wholesale. I don't know if we're gonna be selling and shipping weekly again, but we are still, we are definitely still thinking about you guys. But of course we're gonna keep you guys updated if we are and any news happening. All right, so I think that's it. I think that's it. I think I did it. GG, I did it. This was my first ask me anything question box video on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope the cats weren't too distracting or maybe it was fun. I don't know, but thank you guys so much for watching. And, and if you're not following us yet on Instagram, please do. Our Instagram is Perfect Choice Nursery and Era Greenhouses. And we also have a TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe, tell all your friends. Just be like, hey guys, check out this fun video. Say bye, Gigi. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you later. Bye.